A very good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for joining us today for the special media briefing on the occasion of the visit of uh, the President of Maldives, uh, President Soli, uh, to give us a sense of the conversations that have just taken place between the Prime Ministers, uh, Britain Prime Minister Shinarendra Modi and President Soli. Uh, I have the privilege here of having our High Commissioner to Maldives, Sri Manu Mahavar, as well as a Joint Secretary uh, looking after the Indian Ocean region, Sri Karthik Pandey. Uh, so I would request uh, Manu to start off with uh, some opening remarks, perhaps, and then we'll try to take a few questions. Thank you. Manu. Thank you, Arinda. Good afternoon. Uh, what I'll do, I'll begin with uh, some of the uh, basic details, uh, some of which might uh, be already known to you uh, through various statements, but I'll still go through it, and then we can uh, open the floor for question and answer. So, President of Maldives, uh, uh, His Excellency Prahim Mohammad Soli, arrived yesterday on an official visit at the invitation of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. Uh, he is accompanied by key ministers and a business delegation. Uh, yesterday, EM called on him, and today he had uh, talks with uh, Prime Minister uh, in one-on-one, -on -one restricted and delegation-level formats. And then this was followed by a media event where you saw uh, uh, you know, inauguration uh, and review of many uh, flagship projects. Uh, we also had exchange of agreements and then press remarks by both leaders. Uh, Prime Minister hosted a lunch for President Soli. Uh, later in the day, uh, uh, President Soli will meet uh, our President, Srimati Draupadi Murmu, uh, in the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Uh, he will be the first head of state or government to meet with uh, uh, Rashtrapati ji. Uh, this visit also has a very strong business focus uh, and therefore uh, two business events are planned, uh, one in Delhi later in the evening and then uh, uh, one in Mumbai. Uh, President Soli will uh, depart for Mumbai uh, tomorrow morning and there he will have uh, some engagements uh, including uh, a meeting uh, with the Governor of Maharashtra uh, who will also host a lunch. Uh, and then there are some other business events are planned. Now, just to uh, uh, give the context of the visit, uh, there have been a series of uh, very high-level contacts between our two countries. Uh, this is President Soli's third visit to India. He came uh, to India in uh, December 18, uh, soon after his election, and then he visited again uh, in April 2019 to Bengaluru to uh, witness a match, cricket match, at the invitation of India. Uh, Prime Minister visited uh, in uh, November 18 to attend the swearing-in ceremony uh, of President Soli and then again a state visit in June 19. Uh, the leaders have also had a virtual meeting. They have been in contact over uh, telephone. So there is very close connect between the two leaders. And of course, we have also had a series of high-level exchanges. Uh, most recently, Dr. Jashankar, External Affairs Minister, visited Adu, where uh, some very high-profile uh, projects were inaugurated. Uh, the relationship has grown tremendously in the last three and a half, four years in every area. Uh, and that is possible because of the close connect between our two leaders. Uh, it's a time-tested relationship, but it has really grown in the last three and a half years. Uh, cooperation during pandemic was really phenomenal. Uh, you have heard uh, President Soli talk about it. Uh, it's really a model for the entire region. Uh, we extended every possible support uh, to government of Maldives in terms of medical supplies, supplies of essential commodities, uh, uh, vaccines, and even the air bubble that we created uh, facilitated travel, and that really helped uh, the Maldivian economy, which was, uh, you know, which relies heavily on tourism and uh, which was under tremendous pressure. And on their part, also they extended full uh, support uh, for whatever assistance we required, for example, to bring back our own people. Development cooperation has really evolved as a central pillar. Uh, uh, we are executing large projects, we are executing uh, mid-level projects, and we are executing a large number of high-impact smaller projects which benefit the people in the islands away from Mali. Uh, so today, uh, if I leave aside even the financial assistance part, uh, the development cooperation portfolio itself is over $2 billion. Uh, trade has grown tremendously. Uh, in last uh, uh, year, it uh, uh, grew by 31 percent. So despite COVID, business linkages have grown. And there are many reasons we can go into details during the question and answer se se session uh, that have enabled us to 
uh, really uh, enhance our economic engagement despite the challenges of the pandemic. Uh, security and defense remain a very key area of cooperation and we have been uh, working very closely. As Prime Minister uh, himself said, you know, our relationship has not only benefited uh, our two countries, but it has been a force of factor of stability, peace and prosperity in the region itself. So, uh, coming to the discussions that the two leaders had, of course, uh, Prime Minister, uh, President Soli is extremely appreciative of the warm hospitality that has been accorded uh, to him. Uh, the leaders reviewed the entire spectrum uh, and they focused on uh, the next steps that can be taken to keep enhancing this partnership. Uh, President Soli re-emphasized in meeting and then in press also uh, the India first policy of Maldives. And Prime Minister, uh, on his part, uh, reassured Prime Minister, uh, President Soli that Maldives occupies a very special place in India's neighborhood first policy. Uh, they, of course, reviewed uh, our cooperation during COVID uh, and how even after COVID, uh, we continue to work very closely to deal with the evolving challenges. Uh, for example, you would have seen reports about how we have been supplying essential commodities sugar, uh, wheat flour to Maldives despite our own uh, uh, restrictions. Uh, so we have remained supportive of Maldives and uh, uh, fulfilled these requirements in Maldives. Uh, the uh, uh, pouring of first concrete of Greater Male Connectivity Project is a landmark uh, event. Uh, this uh, essentially uh, marks the beginning of co uh, permanent c construction of permanent structure. Uh, this uh, project uh, which has been financed by 100 million grant and 400 million line of credit assistance, has the potential to transform uh, Maldives' uh, economy. Uh, you saw uh, the progress uh, in other projects. Uh, and uh, while you, the leaders have mentioned it in their statements, let me still go through some of the uh, outcomes because these are very substantive outcomes of the visit. Uh, and they show how we continue to uh, provide support uh, and work closely with Maldives, uh, you know, towards the, uh, uh, f you know, to support their efforts for their own uh, development and growth. Uh, in this visit, we have announced another line of credit of 100 million to ensure that, uh, you know, the projects are not disrupted, they are implemented expeditiously. Uh, we have committed uh, providing financing for additional 2,000 social housing unit, uh, which is really a very, very uh, uh, key priority for the government and people of Maldives. Uh, we have uh, accorded approvals, uh, completed the processes uh, towards signing of contract for development of Hani Madhip Airport. Uh, the DPR for uh, Goli Falu project has been finalized, and this is again a very big project. Uh, they plan to relocate. Uh, Malay port to Gulifalu that will decongest Malay and that will enhance the capacity of port significantly. Uh, the exports are continuing and uh, uh, you know uh, we have uh, reconfirmed that it is possible for Maldives to export tuna and tuna products to India under SAFTA without imposition of any duty and that will help enhance uh, trade uh, uh, between our two countries. Uh, any decisions were taken that will uh, help uh, Maldives augment the capacity of its forces. Uh, the MNDF and police, police, of course, the police academy project uh, was inaugurated during Dr. Jashankar's visit. Today, we saw signing of a contract for construction of 61 facilities in uh, Maldives, uh, police stations, uh, residential units, uh, and uh, I think a det detention center is also a part of it. Uh, we have committed to provide uh, defense platforms. We have been providing uh, uh, defense platforms in the past and uh, uh, we have committed to provide more uh, and replace the aging one with a new one, uh, a newer one. Uh, uh, utility vehicles uh, will also be provided to Maldivian Defense Force. And then the leaders had a discussion on uh, regional and international issues. Uh, we have been working very closely uh, uh, on uh, uh, regional and international issues uh, in various uh, fora. Uh, you would have seen how Maldives successfully hosted the meeting of Colombo Security Conclave where our NSA participated and in that meeting uh, we decided to expand the membership of Colombo Security Conclave. Mauritius joined as a member and then uh, a new pillar of 
uh, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief was added. Uh, so uh, all in all, uh, very substantive outcomes have uh, been achieved in this visit. And of course, we will be issuing uh, a, a joint statement and an outcome document, which will give you more details. So let me conclude by saying that the visit of President Soli and its outcomes are a strong reaffirmation of our neighborhood first policy and the key position that we accord to Maldives in it. It reflects our shared commitment to development and democracy and to a partnership that delivers, which was a tagline for one of the projects also. And we are confident that the visit will take forward our multifaceted cooperation in all these areas and further consolidate our partnership. So uh, I would stop here. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you have more to add? No, I okay. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you very much for the overview and the sense of what the conversation was. Um, we'll take a few questions. Please introduce yourself and the organization that you uh, come from. I already see hands. Okay. Please start off. No. Okay. Yeshi, we'll start with you. This is Yeshi Seri from the New Indian Express. You just mentioned that uh, the, uh, there was 31 percent increase of trade. I'd like to know from what period to what period and uh, uh, between India and, Mal and Maldives. And secondly, uh, uh, Modi has announced a dollar hundred million uh, in LOC. Uh, in addition to that, what is the total financial support that we've given to Maldives up to now? Just one second. We'll take no, yeah, I'm just noting down. I just. And Renima from the print. Uh, one second, one second. Yeah, you got that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Renima. So just wanted to understand as, um, you know, an extremely uh, close and friendly neighbor of uh, Maldives, uh, was there any discussion on the infighting that is going on within the ruling party there? Uh, and also the kind of, you know, uh, slogans that are going on with the opposition on anti-India slogans. I'm sure these are very serious uh, concerns that, um, uh, that, that might have... Uh, come up with the discussions today. There are two separate issues, right? I mean, yeah, I presume. not really. No? Anyway, okay. <laughs> okay, that's your interpretation, Siddhant. <laughs> Siddhant from Vion, uh, my question is on the yoga-related violence. Was there any discussion over a sentiment that's emerging against yoga, including the fact that uh, Adalat Party, which is the coalition members, uh, coming out with a research document suggesting the president should make sure that this is not practiced in Maldives? Okay. Uh, I had, no, I think I saw your hand first, please. Okay. After this, let's take it. Uh, you want to take three together and then another one? Yeah, I think. Let's okay, do that's uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, so, uh, first on trade, uh, I think the figure is 31%, if I remember correctly. 31% increase last year vis a vis the previous year. So, uh, 2021 saw a 31% increase in our trade vis a vis uh, 2020. And there are many reasons why this has happened. Uh, of course, uh, this COVID situation eased uh, a little bit. Uh, we have uh, introduced, uh, implemented visa-free travel between our two countries. There is a direct shipping service that is operational. And we are implementing several projects uh, in which uh, Indian content is also required. So all these factors uh, have contributed to, and then air connectivity has increased tremendously. So these factors have contributed to growth in uh, bilateral trade. Yes, and can you quantify the trade? Trade is still, uh, I would say, I think uh, last year it was about $330 million. Uh, that was uh, the quantum. Uh, and uh, this year, uh, I don't have the exact numbers with me, but uh, uh, my understanding is that uh, it is again witnessing a further growth. Uh, so the trend is very positive uh, in terms of our trade. And so if I may add to that, uh, today's, uh, the today's uh, announcement uh, on the, uh, the, the uh, export of tuna from, from uh, Maldives will uh, add to, towards their exports also. So that was one of their uh, requests, which, which again has been agreed. Uh, on the, uh, in terms of total financial support, uh, you would recall when uh, President Soli came to India in 2018, there was a package of 1.4 billion dollar. Uh, it was 800 million dollar of line of credit, 200 million dollar of budgetary support, and 400 million dollar of currency swap. After that, we have extended more assistance uh, in terms of grant projects, in terms of more lines of credit. We have given special line of credit for uh, defense. We have given special line of credit for uh, sports. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, 
implemented a large number of high impact uh, community development projects uh, and uh, we have uh, now announced today an additional line of uh, credit mm -hmm. besides that we also uh, 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 finance project through exim india's buyers credit scheme so the housing projects are being executed under that scheme and uh, the police infrastructure project that was signed today will also be executed under uh, that scheme uh, so Yes, and uh, uh, I forgot all about the uh, biggest project, the Greater Mali Connectivity Project, which is $500 million, $400 million of uh, line of credit and $100 million of grant. So uh, if we put all this together, then the figure would reach somewhere around $2.8 billion. Uh, but what I was trying to uh, do was to remove the uh, financial assistance part. That would be you know, roughly in the range of uh, $600 to $800 million currency swap budgetary support. Uh, so uh, yes. yes that's included. so uh, uh, all in all uh, you know uh, uh, we remain committed to continue working uh, closely with Maldives and extend full support and you heard Prime Minister uh, himself saying that uh, in terms of the question uh, about you know infighting slogans uh, well uh, I said you know all the visit and the discussions focused on bilateral regional and international issues. Uh, President Soli has reaffirmed uh, India uh, first policy of Maldives and Prime Minister has reaffirmed uh, uh, the, uh, that you know Maldives occupies a very special place in our neighborhood first policy. President Soli has also assured and you heard him uh, also during his press remark that uh, there is a strong desire in Maldives uh, to strengthen relationship with India. Uh, the people of Maldives want uh, appreciate this partnership. They recognize how India has always stood by Maldives in their hours of need. And there is a genuine desire uh, to uh, uh, further strengthen our relationship. Uh, the, these campaigns which are being run, uh, they are based on misinformation, false propaganda, and they do not reflect the views of the people of Maldives. Uh, and I, I would say uh, on yoga specifically, look, yoga is a, as an event that is celebrated, International Day of Yoga is celebrated all over the world. In Maldives also, uh, International Day of Yoga has been celebrated every year since 2015. Uh, and Maldives had uh, co-sponsored the resolution that recognized this day. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, this incident happened. Uh, it was an event jointly organized by High Commission with Government of Maldives and UN Maldives and uh, the government and political parties, many political parties have condemned what happened and uh, the uh, government of Maldives has taken action and they have committed at the highest level that uh, those responsible will be brought to, uh, brought before the law. So let me start. Thanks. Um, yeah. Akhilesh? Okay, you're ready. <laughs> Go ahead. Sir, I am Akhile, someone from Samsa TV. Uh, you know that uh, Sri Lanka has gone through a uh, very difficult time. And do you think and did you talk about any fallout impact on Maldives that Sri Lanka has faced? And what was your you know, appreciation of the economic situation of Maldives? Okay. Yeah, just one second, please. Uh, my question is on economy. Please introduce yourself, Fanta. Uh, I'm Purun Tapas, uh, formerly with uh, DD News, with the National Broadcaster, now I run a think tank, Center for Media and Strategic Studies. And this is, uh, ecology is one area of concern, which we deeply study. So my question is on ecology, and I just want to understand, was that a subject of concern between the two leaders? If yes, my particular uh, interest would be water, uh, you know, fresh drinking water, the displacement of refugees, and is there an ongoing project of cooperation between the two countries? Okay. Who else had before that? Uh, no, Ma, you first, yeah? Wait, one more will take and, yes. and then I'll come back. So this is uh, the you have introduced asked, yourself. Uh, sir, in the context of Sri Lanka and Maldives, uh, was there any reference to the uh, you know debt traps that are created and uh, part of which was also responsible for what's happening in okay. Is the last question so, or the more question? Okay, we'll take another round then. Let's come back to you. Okay, uh, so uh, 
on the question of economic situation in Maldives. Well, it's really not for me to pronounce on that. Government of Maldives has issued many statements on this, and I would urge you to refer to those statements. As far as we are concerned, uh, we have been working very closely with uh, Maldives to deal with, uh, you know, not only healthcare but economic challenges. First of COVID, and then now evolving situation. So we will, we have worked very closely with Maldives, and will continue to uh, work very closely with Maldives. And you know, you heard uh, Prime Minister say this that you know, uh, India has. Been a first responder uh, in Maldives, and India will remain a first responder in Maldives. So uh, I, I would leave it that I would not uh, go into further details uh, on ecology. I, I am glad you have raised this because this is really uh, one of the focus areas of our cooperation, and we are doing a lot uh, in this field. Uh, it did figure in uh, discussions, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, for uh, Maldives. Uh, and for India, climate change and its impact uh, is a major priority, and we have been working very closely uh, together. Maldives is a part of uh, International Solar Alliance. It is a part of uh, the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, and uh, uh, you know uh, we are seeing how we can enhance our cooperation in the area of renewable energy, specifically on water and sanitation. Uh, you would have seen uh, uh, we. The, the leaders actually reviewed the progress in the implementation of drinking water and uh, sewerage project in on 34 islands, which we are supporting, and that is the largest uh, climate adaptation program that is being undertaken in Maldives, and that's happening with the support uh, from India. So this is definitely a priority area, and we are working very closely with them. And we are also do some of the smaller projects of this nature uh, under our grant, uh, you know, high impact community development project. Uh, so there also we we have, in fact, all these programs are tailored to the requirement of people of Maldives, and they are uh, implemented in close consultation and uh, sometimes directly through uh, the local bodies, uh, and. Uh, that's another area you know we are we are trying to strengthen our cooperation today we have signed an mou which will uh, uh, allow us to you know uh, work with maldives organize training program capacity building uh, uh, measures uh, for the local government representatives and they require support uh, you know uh, in many areas so this will remain a priority area of our cooperation thanks uh, refugees no, sorry, sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, and I think, uh, as you mentioned, uh, there is a lot of work going on climate change. I don't know if this is the right opportunity to discuss what is the implications of climate change on Maldives. I'm not sure that's we are the right person. But if you have an additional question, I'll come back to that. Yeah, Andre. Sir Madhurendra, my news nation. Sir, my question is defence sector. Ko likar hai ki dono deshon ke beech defence sector mein kya baatchit hui. मालदीव को आने वाले दिनों में और क्या हम आम या एम्युनेशन या फिर विपंस देने वाले हैं? ओके, आई सो वन मोर हैंड समवेर, या सेम क्वेश्चन नो, या सर, सो दिस इज अभिषेक जा फ्रॉम सीएनएन न्यूज़ 18 my question is regarding that naval boat that uh, India has committed to, to Maldives. So, is it in addition to the earlier provided uh, boat? And could you please give us some specification about this boat? Like, is it some transport boat or surveillance boat or like what surveillance kind of boat, boat is this? Surveillance boat. I mean, I just <laughs> wanted to know what is this boat. <laughs> just no. sorry. La yeah, last question there. <laughs> Sir Sandhya from ET, uh, just um, um, the ex Maldivian uh, president, Mr. Nasheed, talked about that 70% of Maldives' current debt is owned by China. Um, was China on the table for discussions? Thanks. Okay. Uh, uh, on defense, I, I think uh, the in a way two questions are interlinked. Raksha uh, Kshetra me, Hamara Bahat. आपसी सहयोग है और आ, हमारे सहयोग का मुख्य उद्देश्य है कि जो हमारे क्षेत्र में चुनौतियां हैं सुरक्षा संबंधी चुनौतियां हैं उसका हम किस तरह से मिलकर मुकाबला करें जो चुनौतियां हमारे क्षेत्र में हैं वो अकेले नहीं लड़ी जा सकती उसका मुकाबला अकेले नहीं किया जा सकता इसके लिए आवश्यक है कि क्षेत्र के सभी लोग सभी देश मिलकर इसका मुकाबला करें तो यह एक हमारा प्रमुख उद्देश्य है इसके अलावा हम रक्षा के क्षेत्र क्षेत्र में सुरक्षा के क्षेत्र में यह प्रयास करते हैं कि मालदीव्स की क्षमता, उनकी सैन्य फोर्सों की क्षमता, एमएनडीएफ पुलिस की क्षमता, 
बढ़ सके जिससे वो अपने क्षेत्र में आ, सुरक्षा कायम कर सके तो वही हमारा मुख्य उद्देश्य है हमारे जितने भी चीजें हम कर रहे हैं चाहे वो हम प्लेटफॉर्म देते हैं चाहे हम उनको ट्रेनिंग देते हैं चाहे हम उनका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप करते हैं या हम उनकी ट्रेनिंग फैसिलिटीज बनाते हैं मुख्य उद्देश्य यही है कि हम मॉलदीव के जो खुद के प्रयास हैं अपनी सुरक्षा क्षमता बढ़ाने के उसको सहारा दे सके उसकी मदद कर सके जहां तक आई थिंक एज फार एज दिस क्वेश्चन अबाउट डेट चाइनीज डेट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एड्रेस्ड यू नो इट्स रियली नॉट फॉर मी टू कमेंट ऑन द स्टेट ऑफ मॉलदीवियन इकोनॉमी देर हैव इन स्टेटमेंट्स डिटेल स्टेटमेंट्स इशूड बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ मॉलदीव the leaders did discuss bilateral regional and international issues and they did discuss uh, security challenges in the region uh, they did discuss how to enhance security in the region including maritime security how to counter uh, transnational threats uh, through collaboration so these uh, topics did figure in the discussion uh, no the additional port uh, i think uh, 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 you see we had we have supplied three uh, boats to maldives in the past and i would urge kartik to correct me if i go factually wrong mm. uh, we can give you specific details uh, uh, even after the briefing uh, this particular boat which we seek to replace was supplied in 2006 it is nearing its life span so the idea is to replace this boat with a uh, boat uh, that will have a longer life that will have uh, better capabilities uh, and in addition we have uh, provided uh, we have decided to provide Uh, another uh, lcl landing craft or sort uh, which again will help them you know enhance their own capability to ensure security in their region in their waters uh, so this is an ongoing process we will continue to work together with them uh, to support their efforts uh, to enhance their own uh, ability to ensure security in the region lcl landing craft landing craft assault right assault. that is the yes. what it is called it's a small boat which allows you to move Sir. Uh, quickly and i think we'll close it unless there's something new topic yeah okay yes so the uh, sir should be rather from doma uh, anything you could tell us on the cooperation defense cooperation in particular the radar chains that we are trying to build and uh, the, the cooperation with the navy sir uh one question yeah. uh, like devrupa something you didn't raise your hand earlier devrupa but last couple of uh, minutes i just want to ask another uh, additional question on the defense cooperation uh, india and maldives have signed the agreement for development and maintenance of the coast guard harbor to thuru thiva fandu i just want to know what's the implementation status of the agreement okay i think we'll close it at that yes i think we have so as far as this uh, radar chain you mentioned uh, it basically uh, relates to our cooperation in the area of maritime domain awareness and this Uh, radars uh, were uh, set up uh, and they were formally i mean in fact the first phase was handed over at the leader level uh, when Pr prime minister visited maldives and uh, then uh, we have since uh, set up more radars there and the whole system is now complete and it was formally handed over during the visit of external affairs minister to adu in uh, march uh, 2022 uh, and uh, we also have signed uh, 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 you know uh, an agreement on exchange of <laughs> white shipping information and that is also happening uh, so uh, we have close cooperation in the area of maritime domain awareness on utf uh, as you are aware uh, this project essentially envisages development of a harbor for the maldivian coast guard uh, its agreement was signed uh, now the project is under implementation as and when we have something new to share with you i'm sure we will share with you Thanks, thank you, Manu, for for taking so many questions on this. Uh, thanks also to Karthik Wande, Joint Secretary IOR, for joining us and for sharing his perspectives. Thank you all for joining us for this special media briefing. Good day. Good day.